Hello, my name is Richard Julin. I'm your host and today we're going to speak about one of the most fascinating things about wine. Their fantastic ability to age in beauty. Think about a product that aged up to 100 years. Today we're going to focus on two different champagnes. Did you know that champagne can age? Well, you're going to see that. We're going to have the 1934 Bollinger, which is the depression vintage, but it's not depression when you drink it. And alongside you have the 1945 Pieper Heidsieck, which is the Peace Vintage. Two fantastic old beauties, we hope. And after the champagnes, we're going to taste two different red wines. Perhaps a little bit more obvious, but for me, the two best Bordeaux Chateaus. One on the left-hand side, one on the right bank. On the left-hand side, you have Chateau Lafitte. On the other side, on the right-hand side, you have the Cheval Blanc, the white horse. And the vintage will be no more, no less than the best vintage for me of all, 1955. Please join me to the cellar. These old wines not only have a rich taste, but also are worthy of collection. Today, Richard will pick up two red wines and two champagnes to have to taste from this 400-year-old cellar covered with spider's webs. Welcome. Welcome back to my old cellar. You see here, what age the spiders have tear the nets and the old bottles are so beautiful. I know my old champagnes are over here, so let's look. Uh, here we have the sign, yes, this should be here. The 34s, I have, yes, here it is. The Bollinger, 1934, fantastic. I use that and then I should pick the 1945 yeah people are a great level looks wonderful that would be nice Bring this too. and now it's time for the red wines my two favorite chateaus in Bordeaux let's see Yes, this case is already open. You can see it's a Cheval Blanc. A Cheval Blanc 55 should be this one. I think we can, yes. With a little bit of force, we get it out. Yeah, that's the 55. That's nice. Okay. Then for this case, we need some tools. I need to have this one. And let's see if I can get this working. Wait, right. That was hard work opening with this. Whew. But now, case is open. So look here, you look at the side, no question what it is, Lafitte Rochelle 1955 and this will be my little baby. This is the bottle we're going to taste. Incredible. The left hand side's best wine to compare with the right back. What kind of change will the wine have after 60 years of storage? This is the most exciting point for tasting the old wine. Champagne can be consumed directly out of the cellar. However, red wines should be kept in room temperature for at least 8 hours before tasting. Richard just cannot wait anymore. Luckily, we have two bottles of fine champagne tonight. 1934 Bollinger and a 1945 Pieper Hissey. So now it's time to open these rare bottles. Ooh, getting really tingling sensation in my body. Starting with the 1945 the Peace Vintage the Pieper Hissey. Let's hope it's still okay. You know, when you open old bottles like this, you have to be so careful because the cork might break. There might be some problems even with the foil. This one looks quite okay, but the Bollinger will be more tricky. So I chilled it a little bit, but if you do it for too long time, the bottle might start to leak. The wireframe is still okay. I need to loosen it up a little bit. Ooh. See? Let's see if there is any whispering sound this time. Yeah, just the wonderful whisper. I dry it with a towel. 
This is, my friends, this is religion for me. Oh, what a tremendous color. And look at the liveliness. 1945. Let's taste it immediately. Almost gold. <laughs> Butterscotch, fudge. Incredible hazelnutty and almost a little bit walnutty at the same time. Creme brulee. Absolute perfection. The freshness, the acidity, the liveliness is incredible. Let's see about the 34. This one is very, very old. Just look at I don't even know where to start actually, but I try to start here. I think I start here. Yeah, here we have the wireframe. Quite good as well. I loosen that. Not so much problems. We wait for the whispering sound or the depression vintage. Is it a depression or is it a joy? Didn't sound that good. Might be good still, but we try. The color is still very good. I don't see if there is any bubbles left, but it could be. And you just need a trace of carbon dioxide to get the liveliness. <laughs> a great still wine, almost white burgundy, Montrachet like style. Thank you. Thank you for giving this kind of wines to Earth. It's incredible. This one is even longer in taste, even more intense, even bigger, lacking a little bit of the freshness of the first one, but what fantastic experience. Old champagne, you cannot have any better. Piper Hisse is one of the three big champagne brands. It originated from a historical French town, Brahms the capital of Champagne province. Rams is also known as the King City because every king of France has to be crowned here since the 11th century. Today, people he see is really known for holding big events, award ceremonies, fashion shows, film premiere. You can always find people he see at these events. Like Marilyn Monroe said, I will Chanel number no. 5 and drink people he see. Borlinger is another big shot champagne, a real trademark with glorious tradition at top level. It can be traced back to the 15th century. Borlinger has been always loyal to its land during the last five centuries, from which it benefited tremendously. Now it's one of the most important brands in the champagne world. Both red wines were made in 1995, and they were kept in room temperature overnight. Good morning! Ooh, I had a lovely sleep after these two fantastic champagnes. But now we're going to do something very different. The two greatest castles of red wine I know, Chateau Lafitte and Cheval Blanc. Let's bring the bottles. Okay, time to open these bottles. Let's unwrap the paper of the Chevron Blanc. You see, it looks very new, but underneath here, I take the knife, I cut the ring of it. We probably see underneath here, yeah, look here, aged beauty.
Because of the long time storage, you have to be very careful in opening the bottles. The wine would be destroyed if the cork dropped in, no matter how many years it was stored. Okay, now it's time to start pouring the 55 Cheval Blanc. Every movement must be very, very gentle. It might destroy the wine if I'm doing something too hasty. Oh, lovely color. Before tasting this, because when I start to sniff the wine, I would be so concentrated so I can't speak with you. I'm in my own world because this is such a great big moment. I just want to tell you that this is one of the best wines in the world. It's Cheval Blanc, approximately 60% of Cabernet Franc, which is a not very famous grape, but reaches its heights there, and some Merlot grapes. Mmm, lovely coffee aromas here. Beautiful, very blackberries. Tobacco, cedar notes and tobacco. Mm. Extremely long lingering taste. For me it's like a field in the summer with a lot of flowers and silky, velvety feeling to it. It's just exceptional. You have some old age, some celery aromas, some truffles, but at the same time, noblesse. It's a fantastic wine. Cheval Blanc got its name because of King Henry, who once stopped by while riding a white horse. Cheval Blanc, young or old, both are featured by their good taste. The young Cheval Blanc is sweet, attractive and very weak. But after 10 years of storage, Cheval Blanc turned into strong, complex and intense. The 1947 Cheval Blanc was named the best wine of the century in Bordeaux area. Time for Chateau Lafitte 55. The same procedure, of course. My legs turn to yellow again when I see the label. Very gentle pouring. Treat the wine with the greatest of respect all the time. The color is more cloudy. There are more sediment in this one. Could be good, could be bad. Let's see. Before tasting it, I tell you this different story. Here we have 75% of Cabernet Sauvignon, you know the most famous red wine grape in the world, many copies in the world, but this one is what everyone wants to make. <laughs> completely different, completely different. Here we go on the chocolate theme. This is so much candy, it's a, even white chocolate, dark chocolate, butterscotch almost like some champagnes and raspberries. Rather surprising. I was expecting more of the tobacco, more cedar notes. A lot more freshness, a lot higher acidity, more feminine grace. For me, two perfect red wines in different schools. The feminine Lafitte and the more masculine, powerful Cheval Blanc. Chateau Lafitte was established by the noble family Lafitte in 1354, which became famous since then. In 1675, Duke Segal, who was the leading one in wine industry, took over Chateau Lafitte. King Louis XIV once said, Segal family was the richest family in France. In 17th century, Burgundy dominated. One of the famous lovers of Lafitte was Bombardier, King Louis XV's mistress, which made Lafitte the drink for nobles in Palace Versailles. Generally, champagne and red wines will not improve with age, although there are exceptions. However, the incredible changes during storage are always the most important things attracting wine lovers. My friends, I hope you really enjoyed magic journey into this fantastic world of old wines. This, the aging 
into beauty is for me perhaps the most fascinating part of the wine world. Try it yourself, I'm quite certain you like it. And please join me again for the next journey in the next show.